That could be the end of our friendship right there. Well, well that's awkward. My name is Haley, and for today's video, uh, me and this person here, her name is Brooke, we're gonna be doing a best friend tag because, as I mentioned, we each other. as I mentioned in previous videos, we are best friends. At least I think we are. So we are going to be doing it. We're gonna alternate questions, and one person is gonna answer. The other one is going to write their answer down on this whiteboard here. First question. When and how did we first meet? So let's think about this. And you write it down and then I'm gonna say it. Okay, well, she's writing. I'm gonna say what I think. Okay, so I think we first met seventh grade. We had science together and she hurt her elbow and I had to walk her to class back and forth. And then we started talking. What's your answer? I said, Broke the el my elbow and you had to bring my books class to class. Or, I couldn't remember which came first, when you were forced to sit next to me and I would steal your stickers. Yeah, she would steal my stickers that She would just be kind and hand one over to me. That little bee. Okay. She would have just gave me your meter sticker and you would never We're going to skip the second one. Because I don't like that question. Okay. How long does it take your best friend to get dressed? And I was talking about when I get out of bed, that's when we start, or when I wake up. No, it's when you go to actually put on your clothes, how long does it take you? Well, maybe like your coat. Clothes and hair? Yeah. Okay. 10 to 15 minutes. Woo! I see in 15 minutes. I don't spend a lot of time. What is your best friend's dream job? Not even fair. Write it down. I'm so sick of that same old love. Her dream job is to be in sonography in a hospital. Diagnostic sonography. You're missing one word. Diagnostic checking sonography? <laughs> you said working in a hospital doing medical diagnostic sonography. Medical. Don't know what else you'd be doing it for, but... Uh... Does your best friend have any strange phobias? Do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. I don't even know them! <laughs> Sleeping next to the door. Oh! Sleeping next to the door. I do not like that. No, no. Her handwriting looks like chicken scratch. They say creative minds have messy handwriting. <laughs> what would your best friend do if they won the lottery? A couple things. One, she would make sure her family was all set. And then she would travel to Australia and pay for college. Well, Am I missing something? Well, yeah. Well, I'm... Yes, I would do all those things, but I said keep working and invest part of it. Oh, true. We're, didn't we just talk about that? Yeah. I forgot the investing because that's boring. Is your best friend allergic to anything? That's not <laughs> Well, okay. We can do this. You don't even need to write it down. No, because I, I want to. Okay. okay. So say what you want to. Okay, she is allergic to gluten, she has celiac disease, and that's wheat, barley, oats, and rye. Malt. Malt and rye. And I always think soy is included in that, but it's not. So I said, not technically, because it's actually an autoimmune disease. I'm so sick of saying I love. I don't even like this song. Ooh, I we'll just harmonize. Oh. What's your best friend's favorite TV show? Can I do a couple? Yeah, because I was going to say a couple. Okay! You know, because there's a lot that I really like. What do you? What were you going to say? Currently, it's Dr. Phil and Oh Alan. my god, I was just thinking <laughs> series! Hold on! <laughs> well, Dr. Phil is technically a series. Well, then there's Supernatural. Wait, 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 no. So, you know how I recorded Super Soul Sunday? Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> You're like a 50-year-old woman. Jane the Virgin? Yeah! One more. One Tree Hill? Yep. I love that. So I got Jane the V, Supernatural, One Tree Hill, Dr. Phil, and Ellen. I'm so sick of the same love. This is an observation I picked up, so I don't know if you actually know this, but do you like loud music or music that is at a much more reasonable level? In general. 
So she often listens to it at a reasonable level until she likes like a song that comes on the radio, then she turns it up. Whereas I like it at 15 minimum. That's true. I said I turn down the music to annoy you, but yeah. I keep it at like a reasonable level of 12, so it's sort of loud, sort of not loud. Of 12. Oh, do I want to take on this one? What is it? What concerts has your best friend been to? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> okay, I'll start listing them. <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember this guy's name. Yes, I do. How am I supposed to know if you don't remember? Jeez. <laughs> I feel like I've been to like a camp rock or... <laughs> One Direction you've been to, like... About like eight nine, times? Nine times. I said close to eight. Good job, good job. Halsey, you've been to twice. Oh my god, that's what I was forgetting! Okay. You've been to five seconds of summer. Yeah. And then Jingle Ball, you've been to twice. Mm -hmm. But that's all I have. You're missing a couple. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, fuck. I forgot that you went to, uh, what was it? Yeah. So I've been to 1D, Carrie Underwood, Luke Bryan, and Jason Aldean. Five seconds of summer. I feel like I'm, like, announcing something. Pivot at the Disco, I've been to, like, a summer version of Jingle Ball. I've been what to Jingle what Ball. What is that called? What, the summer version? Yeah, what's, uh, I don't know. Warp it's... Tour? Oh my god! That, that's not what I was thinking of, but I've also been to Warp Tour. I've gone to a Falling Reverse concert. It was a little scary. I went to Hall. Oh, I should have remembered that one. Because yeah. you were the mom there. Yeah, I sat, like, and all of my friends went invested. off to Mosh Pit, and I sat, well, I stood in the corner with all the moms. <laughs> I didn't know you went to Jason Aldean's. Yeah, with Dave. It was I funny. forgot that you're a country, you were a country yeah. fan. It was funny because he was just standing there and then I was the only one like jamming out and I was like, Dave. So if you're watching this, shout out Dave. So favorite books that she likes. Thinking. I know. Please the only ones we talked about because there's a lot. Oh, I forgot about that <laughs> one. Oh, I, the, maybe oh I, I forgot. How could I forget? Okay, I'll stop there. These okay. are some of the top. Ready? Don't show yet. So, the Beautiful Disaster series. Jamie McGuire, go by Jamie McGuire, good books. The Until, well, just until November. Because you didn't read the whole series, right? Well, I said Until series plus other related books. Oh, yeah, and like Assumption. Obligation. Stuff. Obligation. Until Jax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I'm blanking. You've read both of them, so you have no excuse. You didn't oh my god, Rebel? No. I, that's a good book, though. The oh. lead and play and... Yep, so the lick. Oh, uh, lick. Is the first one. Uh, can you give me a hint for the last one? I read both of them, you wouldn't read the second one. Borden. <laughs> no, I didn't like Borden. Can I have the first letter? Z. Chase. Oh, that's another good series, but no. <laughs> seriously, don't remember. I seriously do not remember. I'm probably gonna smack myself. Though. Yeah, you are. What is it? So, beautiful disaster. Carter Reed. Lit. Oh, dang it! <laughs> I knew it was that. Oh, that was a good book. All right, calm down now. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you look like? <laughs> the guy in Harry Potter. Please elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> what movie was he in? There was like, I was gonna say they're serious in it. Well, yeah, obviously he's in a couple. Um, he was like locked away. He looks like a little rat. Like, oh, that guy. Yeah, that's what you made me think of. How would you describe your best friend's ideal partner or spouse? This is obviously a dream, and this is also not like you have to be this way. You know, all that. All that jazz. So let's get listing. Are we just doing look wise or personality? I was just thinking looks. Okay. I'm actually drawing blank. <laughs> okay, this is all I can think of for now. Tell me what you're thinking. I think you like green eyes. Because I have an obsession with blue eyes. You know, I don't discriminate. <laughs> but well, well, let's get this first out of the way. If it wasn't Harry Styles. <laughs> then it would be a guy who has some sort of like cool colored eyes, I think. Yeah. And then, but brown are okay too. I got brown. It's all right. And 
you would want, you would ideally like them to have tattoos. I think you want a tall guy. Well, just relatively. Yeah. You want they tattoo. don't have to be like. Well, I know I do. You just have to be just a smidge taller. That would be nice. You're probably looking for a guy who's funny. Smart. Yep. Is there anything else? Yep. You didn't say strong, did you? Like muscular. But. Fit. Yeah. <laughs> like lean, kind of yeah. muscular. Okay. Man bun? Nope, didn't say that. Okay, I'll just tell you. Okay. So, I said muscular, but not too muscular. I'm a big fan of shaped arms. <laughs> shaped arms? Like defined arms. Oh. Um, Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> Good bone structure, you know, nice Oh drawing. my god, how could I forget that one? And I put humor and intelligence. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of Brooke on my channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below who your best friend is. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day or night, whatever time you're watching this, and I make new videos, calm down, I make new videos every wi- I make new videos every Wednesday, so stay tuned for next week. Bye!